Hello! In this video I'm going to show you uh, the two games I had that enabled me to complete the Sea Troll missions to unlock the Ogdevoy and the Konigsberg. This first one, it's in the Arkansas Beta. And, well, if you're paying attention to the missions you'd know that this must be the game in which I unlock the Ogdevoy. And well, of all my American ships, the Arkansas Bait is kind of the obvious one that I would complete it in. Uh, actually, the only two American ships I have that are high tier enough to um, actually complete the mission in are this ship, the Arkansas Beta, and the Nicholas. And, well, the Nicholas I do a lot of damage, but I don't really get that many kills in. Um, but so far, I haven't actually been doing that well. That was my fish hit on the enemy, it was a St. Louis, did 2,000 damage. But I fired two broadsides off, and not really that great. However, I fired two shots at Yubari, and I get one Sithel hit doing 8,300 damage, which is about half its hit points. So I've suddenly started doing alright. I see a Kawachi, think of shooting at it, but I actually switched my fire to the St. Louis, since St. Louis is now broadside onto me. And well, it turns out that was a good idea, as I do 15,000 damage, leave it on a tiny, tiny bit of health here. It's a bit hard to read my little screen here, but I believe that says 540 something health. And at the time, I was actually hoping someone on my team would kill it other than me, because I'm obviously going to try and kill it. Uh, I want to knock its guns out of the game, and the St. Louis has a lot of guns. But it's such a waste of battleship shell to do 500 damage. And I actually fired off um, two extra shells there, because I thought I was going to miss, but, well, I managed to get my first kill there, sunk that St. Louis, fired the rest of the broadside off at the Wyoming, which I instantly regret, as I see a Tenru at fairly close range and broadside onto me, but my guns just aren't reloaded to take advantage of it. I start turning to dodge these torpedoes, but they don't actually reach me, so that was alright, and I've got couple of turrets loaded, fire away at the Tenru, and then realised that Clemson in front of me is, um, well, kept turning and have a bit of a collision there, but apparently nothing major. I actually imagine if that happened in real life that Clemson would now be destroyed, but this is only a game. Anyway, Kawachi's come around at point blank range, and I've got half my broadside loaded, and now the Kawachi's dead, once it's the penetration. More than enough to kill that tier 3 battleship. And there's, I think that's the same Yubari, it's at very long range. So I decide not to waste my shots, and I'll instead fire them away at this Wyoming. At this range, I might be able to penetrate its Citadel armor, but probably not, although it is pretty flat to me. But I'll wait for my guns to reload and fire off a full broadside. Well, except for turret number three, but that's got bad firing angles, so I actually hardly ever fire it. Get six hits, do three and a half thousand damage, which... It's not great, but... I didn't really expect to do too much at that range, just... I know I can't penetrate the Citadel, and I'm probably going to over-penetrate a few, so... A few thousand damage with 12-inch guns is pretty okay. And again, it's pretty flat onto me. So, fire off another broadside. Range is still a bit on the long side, but hopefully we can do alright. One hit, over penetrates. So, uh, that was a bit disappointing. Oh, and something just died. Actually, that battleship I'm shooting at just killed one of my allies. But, okay. Looks like that battleship's having a bad day, though, with a Ten Ru and a Clemson both firing torpedoes at it. And I actually hold my fire until after the torpedoes hit here. Just because well, I didn't want to waste my shots on a ship that was going to die before my shells arrived. So instead, I watched Wyoming die, switch fire to the Aurora. Which, well, it should be a pretty good ship to fire at if you're in a battleship. Fire armor piercing at, that is. And I do alright, 3,500 damage with 4 hits. Um, so that's pretty good. Hoping for a bit more, but just didn't get a Citadel. And that 10 rear in front of me finishes it off. 
And well, if you look at the scores here, we're actually losing. The enemy have two more ships than us. But for the most part, our team's concentrated up in this corner of the map. And myself and the battleship behind me both have very high hit points left. So we are quite a threat to the enemy team. And well, this Clemson's charging in by itself. I try to sneak some armor piercing shells around the island, but it doesn't happen. Well, I switched to high explosive. Armor, penetra armor piercing shots, they will almost certainly over penetrate that Clemson, but it's only got, what, 6,000 hit points left, so even taking away 830 of those is still quite of a big deal for that ship at this point in time. The Wyoming behind me who I didn't actually realise in the game, but it actually is one of my Vulcan clan mates, so hello Vulcan. Thanks for backing me up here, I just should have said hello in the game but didn't realise. Anyway, it's firing away at this Clemson, unsuccessfully so far, but Clemson is quite a hard target to hit, and when I get around the island you will see that it is actually manoeuvring. And while this is going to be interesting here, so I'm coming around the islands, I've got a clear shot, Clemson's broadside onto me, but it is weaving a bit. Four and a half kilometers range, uh, this looks pretty good for me, broadside shot. And they all miss. Right, so that's disappointing. I decided to reload high explosive, I had switched to armor piercing there because I expected that Clemson to die in that broadside. It's not very often that I miss completely at four and a half kilometers. And I'll even one of my... I've probably actually only needed about three hits at that range with high explosive shells and it would be dead. But, God, this didn't have shots in it. I start swinging my ship around to try and finish off this Ubari since my high explosive is almost loaded, but... Well, it dies before I can get there. Just do the 10 Ru, don't have shots in it. Uh, there's a Clemson at long range. I figure I might as well take the shot and switch back to armor piercing. Of course, 9 kilometers range, I have no problem hitting that Clemson. I don't actually do any damage, but I destroy a module. Uh, the Clemson's chasing down my clan mate in his battleship, but there's not really much I can do to support him at this point, so it's kind of on its own. Meanwhile, I've seen a 10 Ru, and everyone knows how I love shooting at 10 Rus. And it actually looks like it's stopping, or at least slowing down. So I don't give it very much lead. Fire off 10 shells. Get two hits, and it looks like one of them bounced and the other one over-penetrated. So there's the 10 Ru's armor for you. Fire off uh, my final turret and watch as the ship gets straddled. And now the 10 Ru's actually become threatening for me. Just it's coming in close enough that it can actually torpedo me. But at this range, especially when it's broadside on like this, it's not going to survive it very long. So you go three turrets out, get one citadel hit and it's basically dead. And I'm turning my ship around to try and bring my other turrets to bear. Two more turrets out, one hit over penetrates and my teammate finishes it off. So here's the Wyoming, I actually do a bit of misplay here, there is a enemy cruiser behind this, which I should be trying to kill since the range is a bit long for me to be really effective against this Wyoming. And we see the cruiser sitting there, and even worse, it's broadside onto me and not moving, so that would have been a very easy kill. And I realise that now and switch focus to it, but I've basically wasted a broadside bouncing or not doing a lot of damage to that Wyoming when I could have been destroying this Ubari. And my forward turrets are almost reloaded. Fire off a couple of shots. I was actually very confident that Ubari would die, but instead I just get one over penetrating shot. Decide that now the Wyoming's kind of in close enough range that it's worth me firing away at it. Get three hits, do 8,000 damage, and my team finishes it off. And now, you might be paying attention and realize that I need four kills to complete this mission, but I only have two, and there are only two enemy ships left. So this isn't actually looking that great for me completing the mission, but at least my team's managed to take the lead back. Fire off a couple of turrets at this Ubari, which is now moving. They go a bit in front of it, but aside since it's accelerating, I can probably just keep my same lead and it'll be alright. There goes the rest of my broadside. Get 
Well, a citadel hit, and that's enough to sink it. And the last enemy ship left is this Miyogi, which appears to have run aground. Yep, that definitely looks like it's run aground. My, some of my turrets have reloaded, the rest will be reloaded soon. I start swinging my ship around to try and get a broadside off. A Miyogi's got pretty thin armor, so there's a pretty good chance I'll be able to penetrate it at this range and do a lot of damage. But I only get one hit and it seems to have bounced. So I fire off my final turret. One more hit, again, bounced. So apparently the Miyogi's armor isn't that thin. Start trying to turn my ship around to try and, well, get close enough to effectively engage the Miyogi. I'm just able to get around this island, but unfortunately I'm not the only ally heading towards the Miyogi. As you can see, the Clemson that I rammed earlier is kind of saying, well, claiming the kill. And, oops, sorry about that. Might have looked like a bit of lag, but that was me accidentally alt-tabbing out. And you see that, well, I'm on two kills. That's Clemson's... Uh, well, I've completely forgotten now. I looked at it a second ago. It was about five kills, and it's aiming for more. So... Doesn't really need that extra kill. When I was looking at that, I actually managed to run myself aground. I take this opportunity to try and fire away at the Miyogi. Sneaky shot over one island and behind another, but it wasn't to be. And at this point I'm thinking, well, the Clemson's just going to get the kill, and I'm just going to have to jump in another game to get my four kills. And, well, it's still fun playing this game, so I'm okay with that. But the Clemson, it's come around, it's not spotting the Miyogi now, but well, it's spotting it again. Let's just think about taking a few more shots here, and... Well, I'm not very confident that it actually hurts, but... Off they go. Clemson's fired some torpedoes, and it's closing the range to fire off its other side. And there goes its second lot of torpedoes. It gets one hit, which almost finishes off the Miyogi, but not quite enough. And there goes its, well, second broadside of torpedoes. And they seem to have missed. Yep, there they go, they're hitting an island. Miyogi's definitely not sinking, so suddenly I'm in with a chance. And that Clemson did the smart thing, it fired its torpedoes and put an island in between itself and the enemy. Um, which, as I said, normally it's a smart thing to do, but in this situation it actually means that it can't fire back at the Miyogi, and it could easily finish it off with its guns at this point. And instead it has to go around in a full circle to try and finish off that enemy battleship. Meanwhile, I've managed to unground myself, and I am now heading at full speed to a position where I'll be able to engage the Miyogi with my guns. And well, that was a very, very lucky result for me there, because I'm. Well, the Clemson has just spotted the Miyogi, but for whatever reason, it doesn't fire on it. I'd like to think it was giving me the kill, but it did fire those torpedoes at it, so I doubt that it was that kind. So I wait a bit because I want to be sure of the kill. And I'm pretty confident I can hit it now. And there we go! Four kills! And that was the Ognaboy for me. Now this next game, it's a day later, and I'm in my Izakaze, the tier 4 Japanese destroyer. And we just saw me taking some speculative shots down the channel on the Sawn Lines here. Which I instantly regretted because as soon as I fired them, a Minakaze shows up and I now no longer have any torpedoes to actually fire at it. But, well, I make up for it by getting the firing away with my guns and getting one hit. Damages its turret and does a little bit of damage to itself. Um, enemy torpedo bombers are being a bit weird around me, but I'm firing away with them with my guns. I'm spotted anyway, so I don't really care. And that would be the Minakaze's torpedoes that must have fired at me. I actually managed to shoot down one of the torpedo bombers, which is very surprising in any tier 4 ship, really. Decided to fire some more speculative torpedoes into the smoke, where the Minakaze is obviously hiding. Uh, which again, I regret, because an enemy cruiser pops up chasing me down, and because it's chasing me, I could actually easily torpedo it at this range. 
But, well, again, I'll compensate by firing away with my guns. Fire off a single shot, because that's going to do a lot. Um, especially if it misses. But, well, I've got my engine destroyed, and I'll repair that and get behind this island. And it's not going too badly for me. But at the moment I'm thinking, oh, I'll just come around this island and engage that Minikaze in the smoke at close range, where hopefully my awesome dodging and torpedo skills will be able to carry me through. It looks like the Phoenix is heading over that way as well, which isn't ideal, but at close ranges it's going to have a very hard time dodging my torpedoes, so it's not an awful situation to be in. However, there is a friendly Minikaze around this corner, which means that while I would really like to be firing torpedoes at this Phoenix, I am not going to have a clear shot at it for some time. Oh, and that's also, is that an Omaha coming in as well? So this is a very crowded bit of sea at the moment. Turns out the Phoenix dies anyway, so I don't really have to worry about it. And there's now an Izakaze in here, which obviously followed the Phoenix through the straits. Uh, the Minakaze has actually turned around its head as well, it followed me out the other side of the island. Minakaze in front of me here, it's firing torpedoes in a speculative fashion where it expects the Izokaze to be, but the Izokaze is well lost in the smoke until I manage to get around and spot it. Fire off my guns, and I get a couple of hits, actually managed to wreck its engine, and then I fire my torpedoes not quite where my predictor was telling me that Izokaze would be, but instead along the side of the island, because I figured it would try and turn to not run aground, and I managed to get my first kill. I went and fired some torpedoes, but they went nowhere near me, so that's fine by me. I figure the next target's going to be the Minakaze that was chasing me around, but, well, in a second you'll see it dies, so it's not my concern. And well, we've won the battle in the centre of the map, so I figure it's time to push through the strait and see if I can't get into any of these enemy battleships and start doing what destroyers are actually really good at, especially Japanese ones. And this battleship, it's actually within my range. I've just got to wait to clear the island before I can fire at it. And fortunately, it's a Miyogi, so it's actually a very fast battleship, and it's almost within my detection range. Actually, it has just detected me. Unfortunately, I can't actually run away from it because, well, the island's in the way. So I maneuver to put myself at greater distance as I can. And then I think about changing my mind and closing in to make sure of the kill. And then I go, no, it's better. It's not paying attention to me at all. So I just sit where I am, fire some shells, just um, for luck. Get three hits. And, well, I'd get fired on by a Kuma at close range, which I didn't realise was there. But my torpedoes able to finish that finish off the Miyogi. I pop smoke and start manoeuvring to avoid the fire from this Kuma. And luckily my torpedoes have almost reloaded. So I turn away initially, then turn back to fire off just one set of torpedo tubes. The Kuma's on low health, so I know that I can. It only requires one torpedo hit to kill it, so there's no point firing off six torpedoes. It's just unnecessary, a waste of ammunition. And I can hold on to these extra four, four if it manages to avoid mine. But it looks good. Obviously, my torpedo just managed to clip the rear of the Kuma there, and that is three kills. And now, well. Our team is pouring through the centre of the map here, and we've also managed to win fairly well in the east, but those guys will be taking a fair bit of time before they can come round to join us in the enemy cap circle here. And in front of us we've got a New York and an Omaha and a Furutaka, and there's an enemy carrier way back in the corner. Um, none of these ones are really a threat to me, except for the Omaha. The Furutaka could be, but not really. I fire off some torpedoes at the Omaha. This time I fire six, but I do them in a bit of a spread because I'm expecting the ship to be maneuvering a fair bit. Um, it turns out it doesn't actually maneuver all that much until it's a bit too late. But what I do here is I actually decide I want my fourth kill, so I'm going to close right in with this Omaha. 
get as close as I can. Hopefully my torpedoes will reload and I'll be able to unload in point blank range. But it was unnecessary. Get one more hit on the Omaha and that's able to sink it. Now an odd thing to note at this point is I've just got my four kills so I've managed to get the Königsberg but I've got my four kills from four torpedo hits so I haven't actually done a lot of damage at this point and you'll see one of my teammates actually just got the Confederate medal so it's just um, despite the fact that I'm getting the kills here I'm actually not doing really most of the work for my team fired off all my torpedoes at that battleship and then switch focus to this through tarker and just fire away with my guns Uh, luckily everybody's ignoring me so I'm feeling pretty comfortable just sitting here and shooting away and my torpedoes are doing all right one two three hits and kill number five sunk a battleship and that's really the only point where I did significant damage in this game we also just managed to shoot down a second enemy aircraft so well the gun anti-aircraft guns on the Izakaze aren't awful Furutaka takes some shots at me and misses, I take some shots at it, and I see it's turning into me, but I completely misjudged what its intentions were. Basically, I was thinking if I was in a Furutaka, there's no way I would be switching broadsides in this kind of situation, just because it's going to take my turret, well, take my guns out of the game for a long time until my guns can swing around. But well, that Furutaka did it, and it worked out well for it, since it managed to avoid all my torpedoes. But not well enough. I managed to, well, I almost got the kill, but my ally took it for me. But five kills, that was enough to unlock the Königsberg. And that was all that was required to complete the Sea Trials missions and get those two new ships. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.